Hello, my name is John Wadsworth. I'm an astrologer and I live in Glastonbury in Somerset in the UK and I'm talking to you here from my home on the side of Chalice Hill in a very sacred spot um, in Glastonbury. I've been practicing professionally as an astrologer for 20 years so I began very early. I'm not quite as old as that makes me sound. I started practicing when I was 24 and uh, I discovered this really early in my life and realised very early that this was what I was going to do with my life. It was a, a, kind of, one of those moments of destiny. Actually, when I was 21, I had an extraordinary experience, a kind of communion with the night sky that um, woke something up in me, and it helped me to realise very dramatically, and for the first time, how we are connected to everything, particularly in our relationship with the heavens. That old adage of as above, so below, came to me really dramatically one moment um, in 1990 when I, I just seemed to, to have this understanding fill my whole being. And, I've, and really, since that moment, I've, um, I've never lost that kind of knowing that that's true. Um, people ask me how astrology works, you know, are the planets causing things to happen, is that what it's all about? I don't, I don't really think that's what it's about. I don't kind of work in quite that causal way. I think it's about fostering uh, a kind of participation with the heavens, with the cosmos. And, you know, just in, just in our looking to the sky or looking to the symbolism of a birth chart, it's as if a meaning, a story begins to be woven between us and the planets, between us and the, the zodiac, between ourselves and the symbolism that we're working with. And I think that's the same of any divinatory system of understanding. And it's certainly common to indigenous peoples around the world that this, this, this way of um, attributing correspondence to the, to the way that things appear to be. So as we watch the movement of the sun, moon and planets through the heavens, over time we've woven meaning and story into that process. Even though we know that's not really how it is, because we know from science that obviously that we go around the sun, that the planets turn around the sun. However, from our experience, which is really where astrology is rooted in our own experience of how things appear to us, this is where astrology lives and breathes. You know, it's it's the that, that moment of the sunrise, of a planet rising in the east, or of two planets coming into alignment. In our field of vision, this is where astrology really has its, its meaning and its value for us as human beings. It's a very ancient form of knowledge and understanding, and, and yet it seems to be as applicable today, I would say, as it ever was. And um, certainly in the, in, the, in the thousands of readings that I've given and consultations that I've given over the years, um, every time something magical happens in that space that... that it allows the, the, the client to go away with, 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 with more of a sense of themselves as seen from another perspective. And hopefully with a better take, a better perspective on their own story, on their own life story. And, and with more choice as to where they can go in their life perhaps as well. Certainly with more awareness of what's available. I think this is the, this is the thing, is that when you look at your chart you can, you can understand... Uh, more of, of the resources that you have at your disposal, more you can see which paths are open to you. You can see where the challenges are and you can understand um, more about why certain things don't work, why certain types of relation, where you might keep trying attracting the same kind of relationship patterns. And astrology gives you clues, the birth chart gives you lots of clues as to how to work with that and how to... Um, overcome that to some extent, or certainly to learn to accept that we are the way we are, but we also have the possibility to grow and we have the potential to transform some of our deep-rooted issues. Astrology can deal with all of that. It's also very good at timing, um, timing of uh, periods of our lives, timing of events. You can, you can look at um, a birth chart and you can look at what's happening in the sky now and you can see the, the cycles that you're within and in response to as well. So astrology has a great deal to offer. I have, um, uh, over the years, you know, developed my, my art of interpretation of the, 
um, of the planets and stars and, and, and so on. And so I have this, I think, capacity to, to be with a person with all of that experience and yet look at the whole um, layout of the planets with fresh eyes every time. I think this is a really important thing is that we're always beginning. And astrology reminds us that we're always beginning in a way and every time, in, in every astrological encounter that, that, that I experience, it's like the whole art for me comes alive again in a new way. So I offer one-to-one um, -one consultations, they're 90 minutes long, they're recorded, they can be done live or over Skype. Uh, I charge £90 for this. You can find details on the website about this as well. Uh, I also offer courses. I've been teaching astrology now for the last 12 years and I run three year-long courses, two training people to become astrologers and the other one is the Alchemical Journey which is a, um, a zodiacal mystery school course that we run here in Glastonbury as well. And You can find details of all these as well on the website. The first year course is for complete beginners, the first year astrology course. The second year course is a continuation of that and t can take you potentially to a professional level um, where you can confidently go out and start practicing with clients and I have students now that are doing that. So thank you for listening. I hope you're interested in my work and I hope uh, that's uh, encouraged you to have a, look, a little more of a look at it. But thank you very much.